And I know that the last time you were on, once again, we looked at that photo. You said yeah, <laughs> you felt like yeah. a piece of shit now. How, do, are you able to, yeah. to still do it with the crazy schedule? Yeah, except I think like what ends up happening is I'm so, uh, like in the lead up to the fucking game show, because mm -hmm. I'm like, what, I'm going to be on TV or whatever. Yeah. So like in, the, in that, in those six weeks, I was running four miles a day, every day, eating good, you know, probably eating more because I was like working out so much, but I was just like, I gotta, that shit's gotta be like tight for the fucking game show, you know? <laughs> or like, you know, if I'm gonna have to, and cause you know, I end up in this thing where sometimes I'll see these editors like at Complex, like I'm, everybody's fucking editing my, like I see my <laughs> face everywhere. Like, <laughs> yeah. like the, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm constantly like hearing my voice and like seeing my face and whatever to the point that it's like, if something's bothering you about you, mm -hmm. this is a weird job in which you're like constantly confronted with it. So I didn't want that with the game show. So I was like, I'm locking this down. Like any little thing that I don't like, like about, I'm just tightening it up and getting the jawline and everything. Yeah. And so then that happens and then you execute it and then you have the holidays or whatever and you, you give yourself a longer leash there. And then, but I think where I end up in trouble is when it gets so busy and we're bouncing back and forth between the coasts so much because mm -hmm. then your sleep is all fucked up. And then on top of that, you're like eating out of an airport or like you're always on the run or like you're in a hotel or something. So you have no like, all right, I'm going to the gym. Plus you're busy. So it's like, but there's no like rhythm sort of like, all right, I'm going to wake up at seven. I'm going to mm -hmm. go to the gym at seven 40. I'm going to go to the office. Like I, there's the salad spot on the corner. Like I'll go, you know, like there's no, rhythm to it you're just kind of like surviving every hour or whatever so like that's that's when i'm like uh like sometimes i land back in new york after doing that a bunch of times i'm like all right, i gotta get my shit back together yeah it feels like for tv i'd either i'm like i need to either add 30 or lose 60 <laughs> <laughs> like like i need to just pick a lane yeah yeah because yeah, the in between yeah. shits <laughs> It's like because that I feel like that's where like the the comments come in. That's it, but but I think like this. I think I'm not a good like the way I'll put it on. It'll be like it's all in my fucking neck. <laughs> Is that <laughs> way you like, put it on now? Yeah, yeah. I, like I think that's just like yeah, like how I put it on is just like all in my fucking neck. So. <laughs> <laughs> like I love the idea of like no spare tire, <laughs> just fucking like frog esque. Yeah, that's that's why that's why I have to address. Or like that's the problem. So like I know I can take care of that if I just hammer cardio, and then I do like it. Like in the same way that you'll be like, oh, there's like certain tangible way that's like touching and affecting my life. Like I do get um, when I'm running a lot, get a meditative experience out of uh, just hitting the miles with the headphones in and when I'm in good shape and I have my lungs and just being able to go that extra mile and it feel just like good and freeing and feeling good about myself. And then, uh, not feeling bad about then like sitting on my ass watching college basketball. Like as long as I do oh. the good thing, then I can give myself a break on the, on the bad thing. I want to see that's okay. So that's, I was joking about 30 to 60. I want to get to the level of healthy that I finally understand what the fuck a runner's high is. Cause at two miles, I just want to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. not. And my body goes like, nah, but, you're good though. Yeah. My relationship with running though is like, it's always been a thing because it keeps you so accountable because it's like, if you do it every single day, it gets easier every single day. Mm. And then if you don't do it, it gets a little bit harder. Like every day that you don't do it, it gets a little harder. So it keeps you so accountable. And then you can like work yourself, especially you know, I smoke a lot of weed. So like, you know, like when you think about your lungs and stuff, I'm like, all right, well, if I run every single day, I can build my lungs and keep my lungs. Mm -hmm. But then if I don't for 30 days, whatever I built to, even if it took me to a year is gone. 